Hey, it's Paul from Electric Scooter Guide, the channel that scientifically tests more electric scooters than anyone else. And the reason I'm smiling right now is it's new scooter day. I just got a notification that we got a delivery and it's the new Apollo Go. And so I uh, got to pick up the cart here. You guys want to have a look around here real quick? This is the downstairs part of Electric Scooter Guide uh, where we keep some of our scooters. We got scooters over here. We got more scooters over there. And uh, we've got even some more uh, over here. In fact, there's even a goofy uh, solar powered one right there. <laughs> We've never figured out how to make it go because it only charges with the sun. Anyway, let's go get the Apollo Go. Haha, <laughs> there it is. And it loaded up. Thin box, you can tell how small this scooter is. Haha, <laughs> fits, nice. So it would be reasonable to think that was all the scooters, but it's not. This is the other space. This is where we do all the filming and uh, we're gonna wheel our way over there. All right, let's get a look at this box. Formed that I need to open this from the bottom. And I think this opens like a, kind of like a shoe box. I think this is gonna pop out and unfold that way. It, we'll find out in a minute. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Oh, we're almost there. Let's. Ha! Ah, there it is. Yeah, before I unwrap this, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what we've got here. It'll be a little more clear when I pull the, uh, the plastic off of it in just a second. So the handlebar, everything's already plugged in. And that's kind of nice. I just need to uh, attach the handlebars because they're of course, too wide to ship fully assembled. It's always easier if we pop this up first. Let's see what's in the box. We've got our charger right here. It's a two amp charger. It charges the scooter in about seven and a half hours. And then we have the famous Apollo toolkit. And I'll open this up in a minute. And then we have, looks like, okay, we've got our owner's manual. Oh, and that's a good one. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute too. And then we've got our quick setup guide. Uh, it gives you a link to the app and everything you need to know about getting it set up. So let's check out the toolkit real quick. One of the things I love about Apollo is they send you a copy or one or two of every bolt on the scooter and a nice little map showing where they all go. So if you ever come up with a loose bolt or a missing bolt, um, they've got you covered. So here's all the bolts. Oh, and this is something I've asked for. This is the first time I've seen it. Um, so they've got bar and turn signals. We'll show you those in a minute. But these are spare turn signal covers in case you, you know, drop your scooter and scratch one of them up or break one. You've got spares right in here. They spin right on, just takes a couple seconds to replace. And then the tools themselves, we've got a big wrench. Uh, it's probably for the axles. A uh, nice set of Allen wrenches, uh, an extender so you can get your pump uh, on the uh, valve stems. And it also comes with a nice Apollo branded pump. So the screws that you need, they're located right here in the pouch with the owner's manual, not in the spares kit. Um, and then this guy right here, this is pretty cool. This is your quad lock adapter. And you can stick this to any phone case. And this is going to let you use your phone as the dashboard for the scooter. And we'll show you that in a minute. All right, I'm just gonna install the fasteners now. So if you're new to electric scooters, Apollo is one of the biggest scooter companies in North America. And this is their newest scooter, the Apollo Go, and it was designed in-house in Montreal. It was designed, I think, to take on the Ninebot Max G2, and it's got two motors. It's got 350 watts in the front and in the back with a peak power of 1500 watts. Compare that to the G2's 1000 watts, and this should be pretty quick. List price is $1,299 and it's on sale right now for $1,199 and these will start shipping in early March 2024. So where does this fit in with their other scooters? Well, this is in between the Apollo Air and the dual motor Apollo City, both in terms of price and performance. 
So let's take a look at a couple of the specs. Uh, top speed is 27 miles per hour. They claim it can climb a 25% grade, and that's steep. Our normal test hill is a 10% grade. It's got a 540 watt hour battery, which is about the same size as a 9 Max Max-G2, but the Go is about seven and a half pounds lighter at 46 pounds versus uh, 53 and a half for the uh, 9 Max Max-G2. And the rider weight limit is 265 pounds, so this is gonna fit most riders. All right, let's turn it on and let's check out the hardware. So for the brakes, it's got a rear drum brake and then dual regen brake. So regen both ends and then drum out back. I'll be curious to see how that works. Um, the nice thing about regen up front is you won't go over the handlebars no matter how hard you stop. And then just regen in general is nice because Apollo is amazing at it and it recharges your battery as you slow down. It's got nine inch tires and like their other scooters, they're self-healing and tubeless. So uh, they're less likely to get flats. And then if they do get a flat, they're pretty good at healing themselves. And uh, like the 9 Max G2, this has got dual suspension. It's got a spring in the front, and then it's got like a composite suspension in the back. The rubber suspension, I think, didn't have quite enough travel, and spring suspension is just kind of bouncy and didn't have enough damping. And so uh, Elwa, the designer, mixed in springs and rubber. So I'm really curious to see how this works when we get it outside. This deck is huge. It's not very wide. I mean, sort of normal width, um, kind of similar to uh, some of the smaller scooters, but it's got uh, a really long deck and I'm very curious to see how long it is. And so if you include a little bit of the curve here, it's about 20 inches and that's about kind of our standard length for decks that we really like here. And then of course it's got the little flip up at the back. The same stem latch that they developed for the Apollo Pro has now made its way to the Apollo Air, uh, to the city, and here it is again on the Apollo Go. And I love this thing, it's super solid, um, pretty easy to use and just really has a satisfying feel to it. So there's a little pull tab right here. There's a magnetic um, holder that holds it in place. And then there's a little pull tab that opens this up and then that pops right in. Okay, so we're latched. So you do have to kind of aim it in there a little bit uh, when you're latching it. And then you also have to make sure you hear the click so you know it's latched. But once it's latched, then it seems to stay latched pretty well and it comes unlatched really easily. And then you just pop it right back up. And there's that satisfying clunk that I love. All right, well, let's check out the lights a little bit. These have really caught my eye while I'm doing all this. It's like super bright up front. Uh, you can see this here. There we go. So there's our, our headlight. Uh, we've got our stem light, and then we've got some really nice lights in the back as well. Uh, we'll try the turn signals. There we go. So those wrap around. And then also the turn signals uh, self-cancel, but there's also an option to not self-cancel. You can get into the app and you can turn that on and off. So everybody's gonna be happy with that one. They say range is anywhere between 18 and 34 miles. Uh, based on the size of the battery, I would expect we're gonna get around 20 to 25 miles. So we'll find out when we get the results back from our range test. We've got the one brake lever here because you just got one mechanical brake at the, at the rear end. And then you've got your regen brake on the left-hand side also. And that controls the regen brake from both the front and rear wheel. 90% of the time when I'm riding an Apollo scooter, the regen brake is the only one I use. Or if I need to do an emergency stop, then that's when I'll use the mechanical brake. But the mechanical brake also pulls in the regen. So really, uh, when you're stopping hard, you should just be able to use that one lever and it's gonna do the rest for you. Here we go. This is really nice because it just kind of disappears into the frame of the scooter when you fold it up. Uh, but it also looks like it's pretty tough. This is uh, a nice metal stand. All right, let's peel off the cover on the dash. So what I like here is, so we've got the quad lock and that's so you can use your phone as the display, um, but then you've also got the regular dash. So if you don't feel like connecting your phone to the scooter, you can ride, it's gonna tell you your battery level, it's gonna tell you how fast you're going. And then um, when you change modes, it's gonna tell you, you know, you're in mode one, mode two or mode three. So uh, pretty cool, they give it to you. Um, pretty cool, they give you the choice of, of running it both ways. All right, so I remember my login and now we're getting connected with the app. Now it looks like we're about 70% charge. Let's put it in sport mode, set the speed limit all the way up. Cruise control's off, that's what I like. And then let's change the units. All right, so we've got our speed limit just set to 37 miles an hour, which is, you know, basically we're not limited by um, the speed mode. Uh, ah, let's turn off kick to start. That's what I want. I want 
Uh, and there's one more detail before we go outside, and that's the quad lock adapter that they sent. So it's got adhesive on the backside, and then you can just stick this to your phone case. And that's because, you know, obviously they don't know what size phone you have. And so it'd be impossible to ship a matching phone case to uh, each rider. And so they send you this adapter with the adhesive, and you can stick it directly on your phone case. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can do a trick that I use, which is I bought a spare phone case, and this is what I use when I'm filming, is uh, I've got an adhesive mounted to this, and I just pop the phone in here when I want to use it, and uh, you can do the same sort of thing. You could attach this to either your main phone case or a spare one, and then uh, if you use a spare one, just pop your phone into the spare phone case when you want to mount it on the scooter. But I also like that you don't have to do that. You can just ride using the dashboard. All right, so we've got the app connected. We've got the tires aired up. Let's go for a ride. So I'm gonna go get my very first impressions, my first ride on this scooter on some really steep hills. All right, so this is my very first ride on the Apollo Go. Uh, you know, their dual motor, smaller electric scooter. This one's just, you know, a little smaller than the city. It's actually pretty civilized. I've got it in third gear. I've got it turned all the way up. Okay, now I'm going downhill and I'm getting up to top speed pretty fast. Oh, speed bump. <laughs> Whoa, speed bump. <laughs> Whoa, this is a heck of a way to get to know a scooter. So let's check out these brakes. <laughs> let's see if they can do it. Oh, oh, they're doing it. It's holding me, I'm like kind of maxed out on the regen, but I'm uh, 14, 15. Okay, I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add a little more mechanical there. But that's not bad. Okay, so now that I'm on flat ground and I'm not distracted by all the hills, I'm really noticing the suspension. This suspension is very, very nice. Everything Apollo does has a really nice feel to it, like the Regent brake levers feel amazing. Um, the throttles are super smooth. They don't try to like yank your arms back. That's just not their style. Um, and this is not, you know, made to be a, like a sports scooter, but it just gives you like a nice grunt. I mean, it's got a, a good amount of power, but without being like really abrupt. Like, if I'm off balance a little bit and I hammer the throttle, you know, kind of it eases you into it. It's still pretty smooth. And I've got the acceleration, you know, turned all the way up right now. The same thing on the regen side. You know, you can slam on these regen brakes and everything is just super smooth. And then that just fits right in also with the suspension. The suspension has this like tight, like perfect feel. You know, when you're riding like a bicycle, imagine like a bicycle that has no suspension, but it has like big fat balloon tires. That's kind of what this feels like, like big, big tires um, with just the right amount of air pressure. And that's not coming from the tires. I mean, this does have tubeless, um, you know, self-sealing, you know, tubeless tires on it, but I've got those pumped up to 50 pounds right now. So I'm definitely not getting that cushy ride out of the tires. It's coming from the suspension. Let me talk about this deck for a minute. This is nice and grippy. Uh, the pinstripes, actually, I can feel it kind of gripping from the little pinstripes in the deck that feels good it looks really good it's not super wide but i don't feel like i need you know a super wide deck so let's uh let's climb some more hills yeah so you know so the thing that's really impressing me the thing that's getting my attention the most here is really the suspension and that's not what i expected i thought it was going to be the the dual motors the dual motors uh they feel good it feels like just you know a nice amount of acceleration for the city Okay, let's try that regen again. Oh uh, yeah, so this is a pretty steep hill. Like this is as steep a, a hill as most people are likely to ever encounter. And these regen brakes do handle that hill just fine. All right, let's go up that one. Yeah, I mean, so you can see by the angle of these houses what a steep hill this is. And, and really most single motor scooters you'd be pushing at this point for sure. So this is really, I think, what they were going for. You know, trying to make the ultimate city scoot something that's, you know, not too big, not crazy fast, but, you know, fast enough to keep up with the traffic and, uh, and reasonably portable. Well, I've had a ton of fun today getting to know the new Apollo Go, their newest dual motor electric scooter that's made for city commuting. And I feel like they've struck a balance here between, you know, your big single motor scooters and your small dual motor scooters. They tried to make like a dual motor that's 
kind of small enough for the city, but it's got enough hill climbing power to get you over the big hills. And uh, so far, it's looking really good. But tomorrow is the real test. I'll do my full performance testing on the Apollo Go. I'll find out how fast it climbs our test hill, how far it goes on the range test course. I'll check out the brakes and what it's really like to ride. And we'll be back in one week with the full review, where we'll also compare it to its closest competitors. This is Paul from Electric Scooter Guide. Don't forget to get subscribed so you don't miss the full review a week from now.